Hi, Nadira. Uh, I'm Jen. I'm here to see the room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jen. You sounded shorter on the phone. Have you met before? Uh, uh, huh? I don't think so. Um, oh, yeah. So sorry. It's okay. You can do that. Sorry lah, rumah ni tak siap lagi. It's okay. Yang tu spare room. I terpaksa letak barang dari butik. But I clear before everyone moves in. So, macam mana? It's perfect. Kerja dekat mana? I'm a freelancer. I work as a graphic designer. Kalau macam tu, kenapa tak stay dengan parents you? Sana kan lagi best? Yeah, but you know like girls like me nowadays, at my age, we need a lot of space, right? So... Yeah, I know that feeling. Here's some herbal tea. Try lah my own recipe. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. It's very yummy. Thank you. Adira, I really like your style. Oh, and you mentioned just now that you have a boutique, right? So maybe sometime when you're free, you can take me there? Sebenarnya booth kecil je. But I like to call it boutique. Sounds classier. Everything I sell is second hand. Oh, really? Ah? But I saw so much stuff there. How did you manage to find everything? I pick up lah, here and there. You'll be amazed with what people can leave behind. True as well. So, you need freelancer. Mm -hmm. You can afford the rent, ke? Mm. Okay, actually... Uh, to tell you the truth, this is the only place that I can afford. <laughs> Sama lah kita. But you know what? I'm actually very curious. How come the rent here is so cheap? You must have heard stories. What stories? Serious lah, you tak tahu pasal tempat ni? Um... Jasmine Mansion is infamous. A lot of strange things have happened before. Like... Things that can't be explained easily. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. They say, uh, orang asli used to curse the land when the devil performs them out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not mean to laugh at what you just said. It's just that I don't believe in that kind of stuff. You will if you stay here long enough. I, it's not that. It's just that I'm not the superstitious kind. Tak kisah lah, you superstitious ke tak. Takkan nak ignore je semua benda yang pernah jadi kat sini. Even dalam rumah ni. Dekat previous tenant. Here. Really? Hmm. Hello? Nalia, kenapa tak tidur lagi ni? Hey, semua orang belum tidur lah. Eh, hey, you forgot ke kita punya challenge? 
Kat kelas pagi tadi, Adeline. Uh. Ah, kau orang nak buat malam ni ke? Bukan kita orang je nak buat tau. I think satu Malaysia nak try. Dah lah trending kat Twitter hari ni. I mean, memanglah semua orang nak buat. <laughs> okay, actually aku pun curious sebab yelah mana tahu benda ni betul-betul jadi, betul tak? Yes, that's the spirit, girl. Kalau any of us betul-betul percaya nampak hantu, mesti kecoh gila kat college nanti. And then, kita jadi famous. <laughs> eh, I have to remind you, kita kena buat ni pukul 3 pagi tau. And then you kena buat masa semua orang dah tidur. 3 pagi, okay. I think there's no problem because of aku pun kat rumah seorang-seorang. Family aku pergi balik kampung sebab macam aku sakit. Tapi, aku tak ada notes yang korang ada sebab pagi tadi. Alright, jap. Aku email dengan kau. Sekarang juga. Okay, thank you, Alia. Good luck and have fun, okay? Okay, nanti pagi esok kita update each other. Ciao, babe. Thank you. Bye-bye. <sighs> Upacara melihat hantu step by step, guys. <sighs> Macam tak ni ke mana lah pula. Let's do this. Barang-barang yang diperlukan, garam kasar, pisau dan kain hitam. Cara bermain mesti kena start dalam pukul jam 3 pagi. Matikan semua suis lampu dan apa saja yang keluarkan cahaya dalam rumah ni dan tutup mata pakai kain hitam. Genggam garang kasar kat tangan kiri dan pisau kat tangan kanan. Tabukan garam kat bar pintu. Kemudian berdiri depan pintu bilik kosong. Baca mantra ni seru tuan, seru sekali. Seru segera, datang kemari dan ketuk pintu tiga kali. Ada orang tak kat dalam? Seru tuan, seru sekali. Seru segera, datang kemari. Hello. Anybody there? Tak ada apa pun. Tak berapa kali tak nak kena panggil. Seru tuan, seru sekali. Seru segera datang kemari. Adeline couldn't stop seeing things after that. She was tormented. She couldn't sleep. She couldn't eat. She was... Uh, okay, Nandira, I need to stop you right there. How sure are you that all of this is even true? Her mom told me before. Her mom found her smashing her head against that wall where that crack is. The ghost told her to do it. She almost killed herself. It drove her crazy. Lola. That's a worse story than that one. My dear. Why are you telling me all this? Is it because you don't want me to rent your room? Do you want it? Well, of course I want it. Where else would I be here sitting down having tea with you? Then it is best that you need to know the truth. I insist. I don't want a new flatmate who is easily spooked. It's a pain finding a new one. It's best for both of us. Okay, fine. Tell me everything. 